Hey guys, how are you going? In this video I'll be showing you how to blur your HTML text using CSS. So essentially uh, this can be achieved by combining the usage of text shadow and the color properties. Um, and it can also be animated which means you can create some pretty interesting effects um, with your blur text. So in this video um, I'll firstly be showing you how to create um, the basic blur text effect and then secondly I'll be showing you how to animate it. Uh, for example, when the page loads up, I'll be showing you how to unblur some text which you have uh, blurred by default. So, let's go inside the text editor right here in the HTML and just create a new div to contain some text in which we'll be blurring. Uh, we can give this div a class of something like body text, for example. Inside here, I'll just place some dummy text um, just some plain old lorem ipsum. So now I'm just going to then go inside the CSS here and just target that um, that uh, body text class and create some base styles. So for example, a width of 250 pixels, um, a one pixel black border, um, and also just some padding of 10 pixels. So now I'm going to save this and refresh. And of course, as we expect, we get something like this. So now let's go ahead and actually create um, a blurred text effect for this div. So as I said, you just combine the usage of these two properties right here, text, shadow and color. So inside the CSS, let's firstly uh, specify a value for color. So for this to work, uh, this needs to have a value of transparent. So pretty self-explanatory, the text is going to be transparent. So now saving this and refreshing, we can see now we of course um, get a transparent coloring for the text so it is not visible. Um, and uh, where the blurred text sort of uh, uh, gets created is in the text shadow. So for this, let's go back inside here and specify a text shadow. This is going to be 0, 0. And then here, as your third value, you're going to be providing uh, the amount of blur you want. For example, let's say something like 10 pixels. And then followed by this, you specify the color. For example, let's say RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 0.75. This is obviously going to be um, a 75% opaque black. Obviously using the A, it stands for alpha, and it allows us to specify a transparency value for um, the RGB values given there. So now saving this and refreshing is going to give us something like this. As we can see, um, the text is blurred. I might just go ahead now and just reduce um, this blurred amount to something like 5 pixels instead. So now saving this and refreshing is obviously going to give us um, a text which is not as blurred as previous or um, as it was previously. Um, and I also want to mention that uh, maybe in your case um, you may instead just want to put for the color something like black. Keep it simple. Um, you can of course specify any color here, red, blue, green, etc. Um, but maybe black is what you want to go with. So now of course it's going to be a bit darker um, this time round. Uh, and that is basically how you can blur your text. I now want to show you um, how to uh, unblur this text right here on page load. So um, I found that uh, there are two ways to achieve this both using animations and keyframes. So firstly I'll be showing you the first technique. Um, so back inside here let's just now in the CSS still just create a new animation or a new set of keyframes. So we can say keyframes right here and let's call this set uh, unblur for example. Of course, you can name this whatever you like. Um, Unblur makes sense in this scenario. And uh, here, I'm going to say 2. And for um, uh, the 2 section, I'm just going to say right here, um, color, and put the color back to black. So basically, uh, when this animation gets ran on, uh, uh, on uh, the body text element, it is going to go from a, uh, a transparent color down to a black color. Along with this, we are also going to be changing the text shadow property and we're going to make this none. So now we're basically going from this transparent color and a text shadow and we're going to animate back down to a color of black 
and no text shadow okay and then to actually have this animation uh, run and specified for this uh, class or uh, rule set we simply go down here and we say animation and we can say uh, unblur just like this so specifying the keyframes name then we can say the amount of time the animation is gonna uh, take to uh, complete let's just say for example one second okay and then uh, very importantly you want to say forwards and this just means that the animation is going to keep the values right here after it has been completed. If you don't use forwards, then these values, once the one seconds is up, it is gonna go back to these values. So, now let's just save this and refresh and see what it looks like. As we can see here, um, the text is gonna unblur and go back to its clear um, variation. Okay, so one more time, we can see it does that. Now if you look closely, it does look a bit funny because the um, the black text color is going to come back and you can sort of see it, uh, I guess prematurely, uh, going back to black. So to get around this, there is an alternative um, uh, animation which you can use. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at that one right now. Uh, back inside uh, the text editor, let's just um, remove uh, this color right here um, from the uh, keyframes rules and instead replace this text shadow with uh, instead of none we're gonna say zero 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 and then black so now essentially we're just animating the text shadow property and we are taking it from a five pixel blur down to a zero pixel blur which effectively just gives us the text back um, to the way it looked previously without the use of color in this case the color is still transparent so now i'm going to save this and refresh and we can see right here it's got a much nicer uh, uh, blur animation as it goes back down to its original variation okay so uh, the reason why I put the first one in there is because um, I'm not too sure of the complications around this because technically there is no color set on the text and potentially I'm not too sure maybe uh, this isn't the best way to go about things but hey it may work in your scenario and you may not care about things like that so that is how to blur text using CSS uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.